Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In an earlier video, I tested Llama CPP on my AMD Ryzen 7 8845HS on the CPU cores and also on the AMD Radeon 780M iGPU. Now, in both benchmarks, the PP512 and the TG128, the iGPU was faster than running it on the CPU cores. So that made me wonder, is the same also true on, for instance, an Intel N100? So here you can see that I'm running Ubuntu on an Intel N100. And yeah, some of the Intel N100 systems, they have DDR4, some of them have DDR5. Uh, I think actually in both cases, probably low power. And yeah, I just looked for some command line options to see the uh, actual memory units or memory banks. So um, with this one, it doesn't always tell you if it is DDR4 or DDR5, something like that. So here you can see that it only tells you that uh, it has rows of chips in four gigabytes, four in total, so 16 gigabyte total, and 6400. And that is actually the speed, and from the speed you can sort of derive the type of memory, but if you use the DMI decode, then it will actually tell you the type of memory. And here you can see that uh, 6400 is the speed. So, um, you can download uh, Llama CPP, for instance, for Ubuntu, uh, the Vulkan version and the CPU version. Now, I already ran the benchmarks, uh, but in the case of the Intel N100, you can see that uh, the CPU is slower with the PP512, but it is faster, considerably faster with TG128. So depending on the workload, the CPU cores are faster or sometimes the GPU is faster. Now, let's just show you what this actually means in real life test. Um, So first we'll do the CPU cores. So we have four CPU cores with the Intel N100. And let's see if... Yeah, four CPU cores. So I'll use four threads. And I'm testing with Mistral 7B uh, quantized four bits. So 
So I have the seconds available to do some yeah, very rough and simple benchmarking. And let's keep it simple. What is the highest mountain on Earth? So let's just say we're going to wait until 30 seconds and then we'll ask it running it on the CPU cores. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. So that was around 18 seconds. So in here you also see some speed benchmarks. So um, if we try that on the GPU, uh, I also need to of this one. Uh, um, Falcon. And with Falcon, well, in the limited test that I did, it looks looked as if 8th thread is slightly faster than 4. So let's try that again. Okay, so I'm going to wait until it hits 30 seconds again, and then we'll let it run. So, and at least to me, this looks a bit slower. Perhaps the thought process is a bit faster, but let's see. No, but we're already past 30 seconds. So, that was almost like 45 seconds. And I think also that the TG128, that that is more important than the PP512. And you can see that at least with the Intel N100, the CPU cores are considerably faster than running Llama CPP with Vulkan on the iGPU. Now, uh, from what I've seen uh, from other people, is that the CPU cores, they also use a lot more electricity than the iGPU. So perhaps if you take that into account, that it's sort of similar, who knows? Um, yeah, there, there might still be some scenarios where you want to run it still on the iGPU, for instance, when the CPU cores are busy with something else. And, well, anyway, I was just curious if the iGPU of the Intel N100 uh, was faster with Llama CPP with Vulkan, but yeah, well, at least in the case of the Intel N100, uh, 
uh, you're faster with Llama CPP on the CPU cores. So this is all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.